uh, to install our plugin, go to plugins, click add new, search for document manager, and click install. Once installed, click activate, and your plugin is active. Once your plugin is active, it's time to add the short code to a page. Um, navigate to Pages, add a new page, and add the short code. You can also find a list of our short codes by going to learn.smartypantsplugins.com and search for short code. And you can find all our short codes here. Once you place the short code, you can navigate to the front end and see the active document manager. From here, you can add files, add folders, links, um, refresh, and log out. Adding a file is simple. Just click the Add File button, give it a file name, choose a file or multiple files. Uh, you can give the file a note and click upload. And you can see your files are placed wherever you add them. So if you added them in the test folder, they would be located in the test folder. To view a file, simply just click on the file. Um, from here, you can download the file. Um, view events, refresh. Uh, you can see that I downloaded a file and whoever has access to that file will also be added to the event log. To add a folder, click add folder, add the folder, and from here you can click on the folder and add files within that folder. And you can see our two files in that folder now. You can also add a link as a file. So now you can add this to the folder and users can view the link. And here's the link in the file list. You can also embed video. Um, click the embed video button. Uh, grab any embed code from YouTube or any other uh, media service. Paste the embed code and click add embedded video. And from there you'll notice another um, document view. You can click this, click video, and play the video. Uh, in the folder view you can also edit the folder name and remove the folder and its contents. The plugin is also completely responsive. Uh, so, so if you look at this on a cell phone, you'll see the following. Um, as you can see, the menu gets folded up into a drop-down menu. Everything is um, completely responsive. Um, the tabs are responsive. Um, adding a file, everything can, will show up correctly on your phone. Um, and this is, de again, desktop mode. And then this would be responsive mode, what you would see on a cell phone. So basically, this whole view is the user view. Um, I'm logged in as an admin right now. But whoever you're logged in as would see their own files. And the administrator can manage their files from the back end. So let's navigate to the back end click on documents. Uh, the first screen here is just a running list of uh, all your recently uploaded uh, documents. Um, you can filter these by date. 
you can also send files to a vendor. Um, to add a vendor, click vendors. Um, you can add a name and an email and from there you can just check a box here. Click the vendor you want to send it to, add a message, choose if you want to attach it or send as file links and then email the vendor files. Um, the user uploader allows you to choose a user. Um, since all users have access to their own files, you can view each user and their files. You can also add files to the user and the user will get a notification that a file has been added to their file area. Uh, navigate to the settings section. There are a bunch of settings here. Uh, so you can configure this to work the way you need it to work. Uh, the settings are pretty much self-explanatory, but I'll go over a few here. Um, you can change company name. Um, you can change the format of the file. Uh, you, so you can name the file to whatever your naming practices are. Um, there's a thank you message, delete message. Um, you can disable uploads altogether. Uh, you can disable user deleting so the user can't delete any of their files. Um, you can change the terminology of a folder. Um, hide empty projects. Uh, disable or allow users to create folders. Um, or restrict that. Um, this form instructions, this is just a little note that will go above the uploader. You can also configure all the mails, mail email settings. Um, so you can, for each email you can add the subject and the content area and there are a bunch of short codes for you to use. So you can put a uh, link to the file, a link to the folder. Um, that's, so there's an admin email, a user email. There's another user email that gets sent specifically when you're in the admin uploader and you add a file to a user. Um, there's a vendor email as well. And for each of our add-ons, there are additional emails that you'll see in this area. Premium settings, um, right now we have community activated, but if you activate premium, you'll see a bunch more settings here. Uh, advanced settings, um, if you want to secure your uh, document manager, you can move the uploads folder to a non-public directory. That way they can't be spidered or um, browsed on the internet by anybody. Um, You can also um, require a login to download a file. Um, so this is not active by default. So if you want to secure your site, you really want to enable these two uh, areas here. Um, you can disable the search form. Um, if you wanted to use a JavaScript redirect instead of um, a forced download is what we have, then you can use that. Um, it's not secure because the file needs to be um, in a public di directory. Um, you can also disable some users from using the document manager um, and they'll, they'll see an error here. Um, and we have um, file retention and, and you can set a, uh, a limit on that as well. Um, or you can just send, set uh, zero if you don't want the recycle bin to get emptied at all, or if you want to manually em enter it, you can just do that here. Uh, we also allow you to disable um, a lot of features. Um, so, I mean, that's self-explanatory here. Um, there are no settings right now for links or media. Uh, if you want to view all the folders, click the folders icon. Um, and here, this is just a list of all the folders on your site, along with which user they are assigned to. So if you needed to um, change a user, change a folder, and assign it to a different user, um, click Modify. You can change the folder name or assign it to a different user. You can also download an archive of the folder and add a subfolder directly from this page. 
the recycle bin is just a recycle bin. You can choose to empty it uh, or restore the files, um, or you can um, restore specific files as well. So here we can either delete file permanently or restore file. So by default, all the files are removed after 60 days, and um, you can change that in the settings. Um, under user logs, you can just kind of view everything that's happened. Um, and this is just a running list of the, the past 10 days of just anything. Um, local import. If you have a bunch of files that you want to import into our document manager, you can set the um, path. That's the uh, direct server path. Um, assign it to a user and import those files. And this will keep the structure of your folder and it will basically make database entries for all your files. And that's about everything included in our community version. Um, if you need help, you can always go to um, learn.smartypantsplugins.com um, and we have um, a pretty good uh, e-manual here. And you can find everything from basic short codes to um, uh, how, to, how to hack the plugin, um, filters, actions, you can find all that here. Um, if you're interested in more functionality, we do have a premium version of the plugin. And you can find that at smartypantsplugins.com. And click purchase. And you can purchase the premium version of the plugin here. Now there are a ton, there are a ton of uh, new features in the premium, which I'll go over in another video. Um, but I'll activate it here just to show you a few. So once premium is activated, you'll, you'll notice a little difference here. Uh, the layout is a lot nicer. Um, under, when you click a file, um, you have a few new features like revisions. Um, there's a share tab. There's an edit tab. Um, there's a preview, which allows you to preview PDFs, Word documents. Um, so this is this is a PDF that you can just use preview right in the uh, browser instead of downloading it. Um, one of the biggest features is the um, file upload. And this allows you to upload files um, without any server limitations. So some servers are limited by PHP on how large the file um, upload size is. Um, this uploader it uses a file chunking system. So you could upload any size file and not run into server limitations. Um, the uploader also has percentage to show you um, how far along the upload is. Um, you can also choose to zip files into an archive um, and uh, leave tags. It also allows you to view recently uploaded files, popular files. Um, yeah, there, there are a bunch of features in our premium version. Um, so we also have more premium settings as well. Um, you can view, you, you have different uh, file templates. You can even make your own template uh, for file listing. You can remove any branding. Um, it has support for image magic, so you, it'll automatically generate uh, thumbnail images for any of these supported um, extensions. Um, you can convert images to PDF. I mean, the, the, the settings are endless here, and um, I'll go over all that in a separate video.
And uh, one last thing, um, we also have a bunch of add-ons as well to extend the functionality. Um, advanced groups, that's that's going to allow you to view, uh, to share files between multiple users. So it supports its own grouping system, it, sp it supports user roles, and it supports BuddyPress. Um, so basically you can you can add a whole group to a folder and all those users can view that whole folder. The productivity pack gives you um, commenting, uh, so you can comment on a file. Um, it gives you Google short, short links um, that has a more advanced log and um, you can see some of those features here. Um, batch operations lets you, lets you manage multiple files so you can basically check a box and copy, move, delete all your files. Um, the user dashboard gives you a separate uh, dashboard so you don't have to use your WordPress theme. Um, form manager allows you to add forms um, so you can build out a whole form and allow your user to go through and fill out that form and it's automatically going to generate a PDF. Um, tasks and reminders. Um, we have text alerts um, with uh, integration to uh, a few different carriers so you can get text notifications. Um, import from Dropbox or Google Drive, OneDrive. Um, we have uh, an encryption add-on so this uses an at-rest encryption so your files are always secure on the server as well um, so you, you would need the encryption key to decrypt anything and um, you can also buy all of our add-ons in a nice bundle so if you have any questions you can reach out to us on on chat or you can submit a ticket um, or just send us an email thanks bye